Lakers, we miss you here at RCHS, but I have some important scheduling information for this year's sophomores to be juniors. So our last video was for to be seniors. So if this year you are a sophomore about to be a junior, this info is for you. So there'll be future instructions for other grade levels. We will do each grade at a time, just like we always have. So just keep posted on future videos to come. Before you begin to schedule for our junior year, you need to know that our class schedule will be set up a little bit differently than it has in the past. You are used to a four by four block, four classes in the fall, four classes in the spring, each 90 minutes. Next year, we will be on what is called a modified block. This means that first and second will be periods and they will last all year long. They'll be shorter in length. Third, fourth, and fifth will be blocks that end at Christmas like the traditional blocks you are used to and they will start again in January with all new classes. So you will still have eight classes in total. The formatting will just be a little bit different. Secondly, and really most importantly, is that there will be, um, on the attachment to this video, a link to a Google form. This Google form is so important. The information that you submit will be used to make your schedule. We will use what you give us to make the schedule for next year for you. So what is on the Google form? First, you will see a sheet with a list of course offerings. This has course names and course numbers, and you need both of those items to fill out later. Next, you will see a student master schedule. Every period and block of the day will be listed what classes are offered in that time frame. You'll be planning, actually for yourselves this year, what block or period you want each class to be in. So it's crucial that you don't put down more than one class in a time frame. So if you're looking down a column, you don't want to put two things in the same column because those are happening at the same time. Therefore, you can't have them both. Again, you will choose eight classes in total, two periods, first and second that last all year, and six blocks. Three blocks first semester, three blocks second semester. The third form you'll see on the Google form is your registration sheet. This is a blank copy that we typically give you to take home, to fill out, to talk to parents and teachers about, and bring back to us on a normal scheduling basis. However, this year it is a digital format, so you can either look at it online, write it on your own paper, print your own copy to handwrite it if that's how you best organize things, but basically you will, in your head at least, fill out this, your mock schedule, before you fill it out and submit it on the form. Lastly, as you continue to scroll to the bottom, will be the actual form where you type in the classes that you want. First will be your full name so that we make sure we get the right student. Second, at least two phone numbers where we may reach you if we have questions or if a class fills up and we need to use something that may not even be on your alternates list. Choose then one class per block or period. Write in both the name of the class and the course number if you can, please. And then a final question will be a list of alternates. It's always good to have three or four alternates of classes that you could live with if something you really want does fill up. As a junior, you probably already know this, but don't forget you must take a math, an English, a science, and a social studies as part of your core curriculum for graduation. So for English, you will choose either English 3 or CP, College Prep English 3. For math, you will choose either Algebra 2 or College Prep Algebra 2. And then with our new schedule for next year, your science and social studies will actually be the classes that are all year long and on the period. So first and second, you will choose one of those two, a science class, and one of those two, a social studies. So for all upcoming juniors, science and social studies will be how you start the day, and then you will just choose one or the other, the other time of day. So for science, you will choose between Integrated Science 2 and Chemistry. And we don't call Chemistry CP because the course name is different, but Chemistry is more like the CP version of Integrated Science 2. Then for Social Studies, you have two choices as well. You will choose either Social Studies 3 or Dual Credit U.S. History. They both cover U.S. History topics, but the Dual Credit course will be taught by a Russell County High School teacher. And in that course, you would receive, as it says, dual, both high school and college credit for that class. Otherwise, you'll choose Social Studies 3. Then if you're choosing vocational courses, they are labeled on the master. They're at the bottom, along with the other um, elective courses. 
If you're unsure of what to take to finish a pathway or if there's a class you don't see that you think that you need, um, we have spoken with Miss Roy at the vocational school and you can reach out to her via email and she would be happy to help you make sure you get the classes that you need. We work really closely with them and if you have questions, we can all be in contact to get the schedule that you need. If you're choosing a class that requires an application, such as peer tutoring or current events, please be sure that you email and reach out to the teacher of that particular course. Some of those classes may already be filled with seniors. So before you submit your survey, you need to talk to that teacher via email and make sure if there are any spots and get an application or, or show your interest before you actually fill it out and make sure that you've been approved. If you have signed up already or intend on signing up for dual credit courses, you need to reach out to Ms. Rickson. On that first page I talked about, course offerings, the whole second page is almost all about dual credit, how to sign up, who to come to get in contact with, what options there are for dual credit. So if you could get in touch with Ms. Rickson if you have further questions, particularly if you are taking something through Somerset, she will help you get that process underway. We will complete schedules in the order that we receive them. I, I don't want you to rush and put something that you're not sure of, but also please fill out the form in a timely manner so that we can get to your schedule and get you in the classes that you want and need for next year. That's also why it's so important to know your contact information so that if something happens, we can get in touch with you and make sure that you do get an alternate that you want. We do know and understand that this is a completely new way of scheduling. We are so used to seeing you face to face across the table and we miss that process, but we will do everything we can to make the most of the situation, to give you the schedule that you need and hopefully most of what you want. Thank you so much.